Hello guys, what's going on? My name's Liam and welcome back to another YouTube video. So before I get started on today's video, just want to say today's video is sponsored by LMDN and Jaffrey Studios. Both of these brands have just released new products, so make sure you check them out in the description below and also head over to my Instagram page which will be in the description. So I get a lot of questions on my social media like Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Asking what I do, why I do it and where I get my money. So this is what today's video is going to be about, just helping you guys learn about how to get a bit of money, how to do what you want to do. So I went to high school as normal, I did uh, computer science, geography, religious studies, math, science, English, and a few other bits from my GCSEs, I can't quite remember what they were. But then from there, I went to college, I did graphic design as a level 3 diploma, which basically means there's no exams, it's just all coursework, which is what I preferred because I didn't really like doing exams, I never liked doing exams, but it's what, it's what I had to do in school, so I did that. And just before I started college, I got a job at McDonald's during the summer after I finished school. Now, it's not where I wanted to be, but that was the job I had, that's the job I was offered, and I needed a job, I needed a bit of money to back me up with what I wanted to do. So I got that job, met good people there, I met good mates there, I still speak to them now, but I've moved on to different jobs, I've moved on to different opportunities now. And as I said, I was at college, so I did graphic design as a level 3 diploma. I studied that for a year and in college I met a few people, got me into fashion, so it didn't really click with me anymore, it, graphic design wasn't really my thing for much longer after that. So in my head I knew what I wanted to do, I knew I wanted to do my own thing, I wanted to do something in fashion and be at a full time job straight away. I didn't want to be in education anymore because I knew what I wanted and I was dedicated to doing it. So about seven months into the year, into the college year sorry, I asked my tutor to give me literally all the work I could get so I could get it all done. I busted all the work off as quick as I could because I knew I wanted to leave. So I got all the work done and eventually when I went into college my tutor said you've got nothing to do, you can go home. So I went home and I took the opportunity to work on my thing, work on my Instagram and find other jobs that I wanted to do. And one day on my day off I went into Selfridges with a few friends from college and started speaking to this girl and she told me to bring my CV in. So I brought my CV in and because I did graphic design at college, it, I designed a CV uh, for one of my courses. And this got me got me a bit of a step ahead because I already had one created. So I just changed it a bit to work with Selfridges, like talk about fashion a bit more in it. And I took it into Selfridges. Now, they told me to come back in with a different one. Now it, took, it did take me a good few days to actually give them a CV that they liked. But I didn't mind because I was dedicated to get the job and I was in there every day after college or on my college break so having a job in there would be perfect for me. So one day I got an email and it said I've got an interview and I was I was, I was so happy I had the interview and I went to it, all went smooth, went absolutely fine. But it took about three weeks to get a phone call and in my head I was like, I don't think I've got this. You know, I got a phone call and I was really happy because I did it myself, I, I did my CV, I kept going in, kept, mo keep, kept motivated to do it, sorry about that stuff, <laughs> but I was kept motivated to do it, I kept going, I did it, and I eventually got the job there, and then when I got the job, I left McDonald's, I left college, then ever since starting self, just, I've met so many people, I've met Remy, who I will leave his Instagram in the description below, he's helped me massively, he runs MCR Fashion Industry, which is where all these events that I go to, he sets them up with his mate Domain, which I'll also leave in the description, quick shout out to them too. Then there's loads of other people I've met in there. Not a lot of people in work do this kind of thing, but they all help. Like I ask them something they can help. It's not as though they're not willing to help. They'll help anything that they can. And also through working at Selfridges, I've met contacts. I've got more contacts. So customers who come in, I start speaking to them. I ask what they do. And then some people, for example, some people are resellers, which help me out because they kind of get me stuff. Um, some people own brands, which has got me contacts. So overall, it creates, Selfridges creates more experiences than just the job, if you let it. So, I go to these opportunities, that's the difference. So I, if someone comes in and a customer, I'll, and they're my age and they're kind of wearing the same sort of thing, I will go to them and I'll ask them, I'll say, yo, what do you do? And if they're a photographer, I've met photographers in there, I've worked with them before. So it's just all about networking, finding the right people, meeting the right people. Sometimes it is getting lucky. But a lot of the time it's just working hard and being motivated and knowing what you want to do. So whilst working at Selfridges, as you guys know, I have got my Instagram, so I work on that every day. I go out shooting every day, work with as many brands as I can, for example, Jaffrey Studios and LMDN, which will be in the description below, as I said before. 
So all these brands come to me and I, I love to help. I'd never say no to a brand. I don't burn my bridges because you never know what's gonna happen in the future. For example, one day I might go to London and Carwin, who I will also leave in the description, who owns LMDM, if I, I might need to link up with him to do a shoot and if I burn my bridges then I'm not gonna be able to. So I just work with as many brands as I can, stay as positive as I can, post as many pictures with the brands, send them as many pictures as I can, for example. And then also to get a bit of extra money on the side, I do some selling, not much. Um, and then I work with some brands, some brands pay me, some brands don't. And it's just overall just enjoying myself. Like all I want to do, all I want to do in life is enjoy myself whilst I'm making money. Now doing a hobby is a job, that's what I've always said. And I'm on the right track for it, I think. I'm working at Selfridges and to me, it doesn't feel like a job because it's just where I want to be. I'm around the clothes that I like. I like to meet people, I like to see what people are wearing. For example, if I see a new trend come in, I only know that because of the amount of people that walk in self just wearing it. Then my future plans, I'm not really too sure, it's just working on my social media, hopefully getting that into a full-time job, creating all these opportunities, meeting people, and one day, as I always say, there's 365 days in a year, but it only takes one of them to change the rest of your life, so I'm just waiting on that one day to happen, I'm working every single day, and that one day will come soon, and then my life will be changed forever with my social media, so that's what I'm hoping to happen, and I know it will through hard work. So that's basically what I do. If you guys have got any more questions, then make sure you drop it in the comments below or DM me on Instagram, DM me on Twitter, anything you want. So follow me on Instagram, it will be in the description. Follow me on Twitter, add me on Snapchat. Make sure you like and subscribe this video as well. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out my next video coming soon. Peace out.